I've got here is a uh, installation going into a Baron. Um, putting in some nice new equipment here. What we've got is a PMA 8000B audio panel, uh, two 430 Garmin 430 WAS navigators, and we're being uh, we're going to be hooking this up to uh, the new G600 EFIS display, the first installation for us. Um, so I went through the book real carefully, traced out all my wiring, and now I'm building the harness. Uh, all new wiring for the audio. We want to not recycle any old wiring because it just leads to problems with noise and interference. So, you know, grounded at one end, no ground loops, all new wiring to the common nav should make a, a nice clean aircraft. Uh, we've got some existing systems in the airplane, uh, one of which is DME, which the customer wanted to keep. So I'm wiring new DME wiring here. Everything else is pretty standard. Um, we're going to do six place intercom system out of this PMA 8000. I build the harness uh, according to my prints here. I'll print out the prints and highlight what I need for each uh, connection. And I can customize the wire labeling and apply labels. Uh, and you know, it should be interesting because we're, we're kind of strapped for space in the pilot's panel, so we're going to have to figure out what to put where and what to move where uh, according to the G600 installation manual because there's some spacing requirements. Uh, the customer has a, an existing KEA346, which drives this KAS297 um, pre-select, but one problem we have with that is that the 346 is an electromechanical altimeter, and we need a pneumatic altimeter in the pilot's panel. So that electromechanical altimeter will have to be moved to the co-pilot side, and the pneumatic one from the co-pilot side moved back to the pilot side. So some interesting kind of uh, situations that we, we find uh, for the requirements of different interconnections for different radios. But um, coming along pretty well. We'll be bringing the air, uh, airplane in tomorrow for the magnetic inspection. Well, with a G600 you've got to do a uh, magnetic survey of the aircraft to make sure that your location where you're mounting the GMU44 magnetometer is acceptable. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. I um, also I'm, I'm getting the factory metal for the mounting rack for the AHARS box, the GRS77, because it needs a very firm strong mounting location and in the new aircraft um, the new aircraft come with a very strong mounting shelf assembled underneath the baggage the aft baggage shelf so I researched the availability of that metal and actually Beechcraft had to price it out for me so we'll be getting that um, we priced that out and we got it on order so it should be very interesting I'll, I'll try to keep everybody up to date on how it's going and thank you for watching Thank you.